One of our followers said that we should name one of the kittens Haggis. And she said, you probably don't know what that is. I live in Scotland. Not a lot of people know about it. And I said, I have a story about Haggis. So this is my Haggis story. When I was little, my parents made a big point about taking us on a really cool family vacation every year. One year, we went on a cruise that went to Scotland and the Netherlands and Denmark and Sweden. It was really like, it was, it was like a once in a lifetime thing. It was so cool. And one of the nights they had like Scottish night, okay? And this is when like you went on cruises and you all sat at one big table and they matched you up with people you didn't know. And there was like one dining room and everybody got dressed up for dinner. And so it was like much different than cruises today. And the mater d' comes over and they tell you about the specials for the night. And so he said, tonight our special to celebrate the fact that we're in Scotland is haggis. And my dad, um, asks, you know, what, what is haggis? And the waiter had a very heavy French accent and he explained what haggis was. And it sounded something like, and my dad right away said, that sounds great. I'll have that. And the rest of us kind of looked at him and we went, did you? Did you hear what we heard? And my dad was like, oh, he was just, he was just goofing around. He goes, he said it was something they scraped off the bottom of the ship. So, so at this point we all started laughing because all of the rest of us heard the organs and heart minced with spices and cooked inside of the sheep's stomach. And he kind of got this look on his face. And he went, no, that's not, that's not what he said. And we're like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's that's how he explained it. And it's like a mincemeat pie, and they bake it inside of the stomach of the sheep. And he went, yeah, that that is not that is not what I thought he said. Anyway, the end of the story is that he ended up getting the haggis and he ate it, and it was very good. However, I don't think that any of us have had haggis since. Every time I hear the word haggis, I think of my dad and I think of that trip and it's a funny memory. So um, thank you for bringing it up and thank you for listening to my haggis story.